We got breaking fantasy football news. Carson Wentz suffered a fractured finger on his throwing hand. He is headed to Los Angeles to see a specialist. Uh, obviously, very bad news for Carson Wentz uh, and the offense as a whole for the commanders. So it looks like, you know, a fractured finger is a big deal for a quarterback. Um, you know, ha he's going to see the specialist to see if there's any kind of surgery that needs to be done, a pin needs to be put in, whatever. But it, 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 the safe call is to think that Wentz is going to be out for a while with this. Um, and that is a huge blow for an offense that's already struggling tremendously. And all the key players attached to it, such as Terry McLaurin and Curtis Samuel, I've seen their numbers nosedive of late. Uh, and But now it, that brings to, uh, to the forefront Sam Howell, the rookie from North Carolina. And I told you guys, I started saying this a week ago, anybody who's been watching the videos, that I said to make a preemptive move on Sam Howell because he was tremendous all preseason. He has the ability to contribute both in uh, throwing the football and also running it. And this is a guy who uh, two years ago was was looked at as a as a slam dunk first round draft pick. I mean, he was he had a tremendous season for North Carolina. Uh, was was doing it all. Really looked like a tremendous prospect. You know, he is on the short side. I believe he's only six foot six foot one, but very accurate and uh, very very athletic as well. His final season in college with the Tar Heels was a disappointment, but a lot of that blame could be uh, um, placed on the fact that almost all of his key offensive weapons, Diami Brown, um, Michael Carter, Javante Williams, all left for the NFL, uh, you know, the, the previous um, in May. So uh, really, he was just on an island by himself and trying to keep the team afloat, and he struggled, and it knocked his draft value down, and the uh, commanders were able to take advantage and get him at a value. So, so again, I think this is somebody in super flex leagues that needs to be picked up right now. He should have been picked up already because uh, re reading the tea leaves, Carson Wentz was struggling. He was not right physically, and we saw how bad he played Thursday. It wasn't good at all, for sure. Now he's in. he's got a fractured finger. This could be a, 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 a sizable addition now for Howell, who, if he plays well, may not give the job back for you know based on uh, Ron Rivera's comments last week. All right, hit that subscribe, hit that notification button. Um, also, we just wanted to mention with Terry McLaurin and Curtis Samuel, you know this could go either way. If Howell is ready and he's accurate, this could help McLaurin and Curtis Samuel's value. If Howell, you know, plays like a rookie, which, you know, he certainly probably will, like all rookie quarterbacks will struggle, um, this pushes their value even lower. Curtis Samuel is already on the border now being a, a flat-out bench uh, candidate after doing very well the first few weeks. Terry McLaurin only holding wide receiver three value. It's been a struggle. Uh, just it hasn't happened for this guy since he's come into the league. You know, poor quarterback play can be blamed to a certain extent. But like I said the other day, maybe he's just not that good or as, as good as we thought he was going to be. So um, again, this bears watching. I'll update this as we go along. Hit that subscribe and notification button.